Hello, this is Leah with Scraptastic Patchwork. How did the fall get here so quick? I woke up freezing. It was like 43 degrees last night. I don't know how, how that got here so quickly. But uh, I scrapped what I was going to do for a video because I thought I would do something that I have been wanting to do for a while, and that is make a super cozy fleece pullover like duster thingy um kind of like tunic almost like ankle length pullover fleece by adding a blanket to it i don't know i it's simple in concept we'll see how it goes i thought that would be super awesome so that's basically what it's gonna look like I'm just going to split the sides of this guy and add the the drape and the length from the blanket and that way my entire body can be cozy and fleece. So, let's try this. So with most upcycling projects, the first step is to debone or <laughs> to take the seams off out that you need to. And fleece is pretty easy to, to do that. So I'm just going to be cutting the side seams up to the armpit. And both of these pieces, these fleece pieces, are items that I haven't used in years. So I think that it's kind of fun always when you use something that just is sitting there unused and make it into something that is going to be an item that you do use and you don't have to spend any money at all, just some creativity. There is a drawstring, toggle drawstring at the bottom that I eventually am gonna cut out as well. So I take all, all the pieces that I need to attach to my blanket off which in this case was just the side seams and eventually the bottom hem as well so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to find the center of the front and i'm going to place a pin there and what i've decided is the side panels i want to kind of angle down i didn't want this to be too blocky so i want that bottom measurement to be smaller and I want to have angles so I decided on 16 there was no this is not a magic number I just I thought it was a good enough angle from the armpits so eight inches on either side of that center pin and then I'm going to cut up to one of the armpits and then I'm going to fold it so that I can match that exact angle again this is not a tailored item. There's no pattern. This is just kind of winging it. So you do your own angles. And what's nice is with fleece, you know, you don't have to worry too much because you can always fudge it later. So I'm going to do the same for the back. Um, my measurement, I think I did try to aim for 16 again. So I found the center, measured eight off of both of that so that I can do an equal angle. And again, this is not, you know, this is all in how you kind of, you look at it, you change it as you go. It's, I guess this is improv as well. <clears throat> again, folding it so that I have a somewhat similar angle so it doesn't look wonky. So I'm going to have the front be a, a higher, this is a high-low, so the front will be higher than the back. I kind of decided that I want my back and my side panels to be about a foot, or excuse me, 36, I meant to say yard, 36 inches from my pit measurement. 
So I'm just kind of getting an approximate measurement of that side pieces, just so I can see here when I am going to cut the blanket, if I have enough for that measurement, and I do. So it's folded in half here, so these this is going to be my side panels that I'm going to be cutting here. So I'm measuring 36 inches, because that's the length I want for my, my side measurement. And I'm going to cut that, and then as opposed to making a rectangle for my sides as I normally do for a tunic, and then I would sew in one angle for the what you know the back seam and then another side for this for the front seam i'm gonna because it's gonna be a high low i need to have some kind of angle so i just came up with 28 i think inches so one side is 36 one side is 28 and then i am leaving a two inch seam allowance for the pit but i cut that down later and then i angled up to that i cut that and then i'm gonna cut the fold here so that I have two. Again, these measurements I made up, you can come up with your own measurements, but the whole point is for this, it couldn't be an exact rectangle because I wanna have that high and low. So one side has to be uh, shorter than the other. So now I'm just kind of, again, figuring out how long I want the back. So I find my measurement approximately 18 there from the pit to the hem, and I want that back to be 36 total. So that is what I'm doing here, is I'm cutting a piece of the blanket that's left over from the side pieces so that I can add that to the back portion. Now, I wanna continue that angle even down the back. So I am going to cut one side at equal to my bottom hem here, but then I also want it to continue to taper down to the bottom hem. So I just chose, I think I chose 13 or 14 inches for one side, and then I think the bottom hem, it was like 16 or 18 inches, if I remember. So it's just gonna have a gradual, angled hem, excuse me, seam attached to my side panels. The other kind of cool thing about this particular fleece blanket is the, the blanket stitching. So I wanna make sure that all my bottom hems end as it comes up on the sides for that front angle has that blanket stitching. So I, I'm measuring that up as well. So this is, again, this is the piece that will be in the very back attached to the bottom hem of the pullover. So I just kind of have to dry fit that to make sure I made that wide enough. And I'm gonna sew those two pieces together. But I've decided to cut the chunky hem so that when I do sew those together, it's going to lay flat. So both the front and the back hems I've cut off so that I can sew those together. So here I am sewing the back panel to the back pullover hem. And the other thing that's kind of nice is that I found a blanket and a pullover fleece that were the exact same weight not that that matters too much. You can sew different weights together, different thicknesses together, but this just so happened that it was exactly the same. So it was kind of nice for this tutorial. It went pretty smooth as a result. So after I sew them just straight across together, I have to pin a lot, you know, because of me and uh, stretchy fabrics. <laughs> I uh, am not the greatest with stretchies. Um, I also decided to top stitch all of my seams so that it had the effect of laying flatter and giving it a nice finished look. And of course I'm doing zigzag 
and I have a really cool orange variegated thread that I'm using. I just want to make sure that that seam lays flat. Of course, I could have used a, a serger, and when I eventually get that serger out and rethread it, then I will be doing a lot more with my serger because I do better with stretchy fabrics on a serger than I do on my my zigzag. So, but that's an option as well because then you can choose to do outside seams too, which are really cool. So that is my seam for the back, and that of course is the blanket stitching on the on the bottom hem. So now I'm working on the front, and I did decide to hem that. However, I wouldn't have had to. So now I've matched up the side panels with the back panel, and I'm sewing that together. And then I've also top stitched that just to make sure it lies nice and flat. And I've matched up that bottom hem, that blanket stitching, so that that kind of goes together nicely. I started there and uh, sewed back towards the armpit because I can always adjust that. And I found a hole, so I had to stitch that up and put a little patch on there, which is cute. So the next thing we're gonna do is worry about the front panel. And uh, my angled cut there is longer, so I'm measuring how much I need. I at first wasn't going to worry about matching up that length to the front, but I decided to do it. So I'm just going to cut another piece of the blanket matching up those that high cut so that I also have blanket stitching on the front hem. So again, there's no real perfection here, just uh, dry fitting a piece, cutting it, and then uh, making sure that I, I get the cut somewhat straight. So of course I had to redo it, but just lining up that bottom blanket stitch hem was enough. And then I sewed that on and top stitched that as well. So now that I've done that, now I can sew the side panels to the front panel. And again, I started at the bottom so that that bottom hem is straight and you can always take in your armpits, especially again, because it's not tailored and it's fleece, so it moves well. So now we've sewed all those together. It came to a nice point in the armpits and I thought I needed to add something. So I added this flower. So just with some wonder under, I added a little touch with some of the extras to that kangaroo pocket and I think it turned out really cool. Molly is wearing this for you guys so that I can show you detail, but there's the profile, the high and low. Here's the back. And that fun length, that will be nice and cozy. And there it is a cozy pullover fleece upcycled blanket coat that you can layer over anything. It's cute enough to wear out, cozy enough to lounge in, grab any kind of fleece that you have, blankets, yardage, throw it on a fleece hoodie or a pullover like this and you have yourself an awesome addition to your fall and winter wardrobe. Thanks guys for joining me for this tutorial and I will see you next time.